Hi friends, welcome to English Learning Stop. Today we are going to look at another kind of pronoun and that is demonstrative pronouns. And like any other pronouns, they play the same role. That is, they will describe the places, um, animals, things, etc. And they replace the noun in the sentence. So, let's look at them. Let's look at these multiple sentences I have given over here. Uh, just to avoid the repetition, we use this, these, that and those. These are the main ones and these are basically known as demonstrative pronouns. Okay. Now, the very first example, I have written this in blue. This is my boat. Now, it will indicate two things. Okay. Let me tell you that. The first is that um, this is singular over here. I will point it out with my blue marker. Singular. And then, since I'm saying it, this is my board, that means probably this is near. So, I'll write near. So, whenever you're going to use this, that means something that is very near to you. The next one, these are my markers. So, I have these markers over here. Over here. And, uh, of course, they are plural since they are more than one. So, I'll write plural over here. And they're also near to me, right? These are near to me. So I write near. Okay. That is my jacket you are wearing. Now look at this. That is my jacket you are wearing. That is again singular. But now I'm pointing. That is my jacket you are wearing. Okay. So this is something for. So I'll write far away. Those flowers are so beautiful. Now look at one thing. I have a noun over here that is flowers, right? Please remember this is not a demonstrative pronoun. This is demonstrative adjective. We call this as demonstrative adjective. Because we have, since we have noun over here and we have um, demonstrative pronoun over here. So, when you combine both of these, you say it as, you call it as demonstrative or adjective. While in other cases, you had this verb is, are and is. So, let's look at another example uh, with those of demonstrative pronoun. I could say those... are beautiful flowers right now in this case this is demonstrative pronoun since i have a verb over here those are beautiful flowers so i hope the difference is clear to you and let's uh, let's look at some more examples to clarify okay now you are going to fill in these blanks i have given you a few signs over here something that is far and something that is near you know demonstrative pronouns are this that those and these so let's fill in i'll give you a moment to think and then you're going to uh, write you're going to fit what is going to what is the best suitable word over here okay the very first one look at dash pretty girl okay the pretty girl is standing far away so what you're going to use okay obviously very good you thought it right it's that look at that pretty girl okay she's standing far away at a distance so you place that over here next we have can you see dash tall buildings now see first of all this is plural and the buildings are far away so of course those very good dash sounds great it's single right so you're going to place that over here Dash cookies are delicious. And what you're going to fit here? It's there, right? So the plate is front in front of you, and you're going to write these cookies are delicious since it's plural cookies. Dash airplane is going to take off in a minute. The airplane is standing just near you, and you're going to say this airplane since it's singular and it's near. So you're going to use this. Dash popsicle stays great snare these popsicles taste great 
so i hope my today's video was clear to you let me repeat it once again that uh, demonstrative pronouns represents thing or things and it can be in near in distance time like this or these and it could be foreign distance and time that is that and those they can be singular and plural and one thing more um, they might sometimes act as subject or they might act as object in a sentence and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below thanks a lot once again guys